Hello and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at risers and downers that can be used to create rhythmic interest, but we are going to create our own riser from scratch. This might be something uh, that you're really interested in doing is creating your own riser. So let's get started and see what we can do. Now uh, we are once again going to be working in Soundtrap, uh, which is a really fun program. Um, this time we are going to create our own riser, like I said. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, to make this happen is select a drum here. And I'm simply going to record in a symbol that is a nice full crash symbol. So I'm going to test a few out here. That's too short, too short. That's getting better. I don't really like this vanilla drum set that much. Let me go back to my jazz brushes. I like that crash though. Ah, that's the sound that I want to hear. Okay, so I'm going to record from the beginning a uh, just one cymbal hit and I'm going to hold it for a long time. So I'm going to turn my metronome on so I know when it's going to happen. Here we go. So now I've got this nice little thing. I'm going to go into my piano roll and make sure that it's quantized right to the beginning of the uh, piece. So I just clicked on it, right clicked, hit quantize to a one to one. That means the beginning of a measure. So I know that that now starts right at the beginning of measure. Now you're saying, uh, Edwards, I'm not sure that you know what you're doing right here. This does not sound like a riser. Well, we're not finished with it yet. So right now it just sounds like a symbol. The first step we're going to do is actually to export this track on its own. So we're going to hit these three dots and I'm going to export my track as an audio file and it mixes it. And if you're using Google Chrome, it's going to put it right down here at the bottom. So then I'm just going to take that audio file drag it and put it back at the beginning. Now I can mute this one because I don't need it and we'll listen. Sure enough, there we go. That's that same symbol hit. Now you're still saying, but that doesn't sound like a riser. So I have one more trick up my sleeve. I'm going to hit this edit button. This edit button is on any track when you get there. So I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to reverse this sound. Now, we should have something that is much more riser-esque. And I'm going to shorten it up so that I actually get it to happen right here at the beginning. And this is why it's so important that you uh, have that note quantized to the very beginning so you don't have uh, extra room that you don't need on either side. It makes lining it up a lot easier. So here we go from the top. And just like that, we have created our own riser. You could even uh, use your Alt key or your Option key if you're on a Mac to copy and paste that to other places. And now you've got a, a symbol riser that you created on your own. Now, if you don't like that super fast ending on it, you can always go in to your audio settings here, um, add some effects. You might want to add some like reverb, room reverb to that. If that wasn't an extremely heavy reverb, you could use the amp reverb if you wanted. And that way you get a little bit of that hangover effect. Um, lots of different things that you could do effects wise 
to begin to create uh, some stuff like stereo delay or slap back ton, just a lot of different stuff that you could work with there i hope you found this helpful if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up if you would like to subscribe to see more of these videos do so below